Howdy doody everybody, my name is Kev Gooey and welcome back to Mob Love Unlimited. That's what I thought, look at the water. Meanwhile on the beach again. Oh, okay. Yeah, everyone else is barely getting by by the skin of their teeth. I'm sure of it. I feel like I caught a glimpse of something pretty terrible for a second there. But uh, let's just pay that no mind. I'm sure I'm just seeing things. This stupid crappy jungle and that stupid crappy snake bite are giving me fever dreams. You know, my friend back home used to eat absolutely anything. That's not even an exaggeration. You don't even want to know what kind of stuff that guy put in his gullet. Uh, yeah, I'm well aware. My hormones were keen to remind me of that last night. Yeah, whatever. Should I be glad that went over her head? But well, yeah, I probably should be. I don't think I could handle it if she got all blushy and said something like, Oh, cut it out, silly. Ah. Uh, I knew it. That determination I managed to find yesterday has all but faded away at this point. All that's left is the knowledge that my objective is no longer just finding my way home. It's not just about doing whatever it takes to survive anymore. For as long as I'm here, I want to do so much, as much as I possibly can with these guys. If I ever do get the chance to return to my world, I think I'd probably still choose to go home. But if that does happen, I don't want to go without leaving something behind. I definitely want there to be some kind of proof that I lived here. I really want somebody to miss me when I'm gone. Ugh, oh, what the hell? I'm clearly still not myself. I'm getting all sentimental again. I should probably just take a nap until my Kodo gets back. <sighs> keep, keep, can't keep frowning like that forever. But what are you talking about? I'm eating a frog. That's totally different than a snake. I'd say it tastes like frog, if anything. Oh no, I just swallowed them whole and get it over with. <sighs> I, I mean, the flavor was one thing, but the smell... Anyway, can we be at the rendezvous point soon? What I remember seeing from the beach, the greenery should be thinner near the top of the mountain. Which would mean it'd be right around here, or so I thought. Hmm? What? Hooray, we're all here! Hey, uh. Taking it easy, I see. Yeah, sorry about that. Kinda, yeah. We didn't make it, but a lot later than we had planned. These guys probably got here sometime yesterday. I got bitten by a snake, among other things. Right, Makoto? Made the nights pretty unbearable, and given the code. Nope. Nuh-uh. Nothing like that. Not at all. Isn't that right, Makoto? Uh, did, you, did you guys catch that? That that her eyes went all kitty cat like. Tatama, what are you saying? We're done talking about this. 
その件はおいおい追求するとしよう。No, just forget about it entirely. Let's move on already. みんな、いい ?She's about time the topic started moving in the right direction. 脱出ポイントが分かったわ。ああ。たませとあやみねが A 地点で無線を見つけて、味方周波で回収ポイントの情報を手に入れたのよ。Did you bring it with you? Sweet skate, but that's the car. Only the Angle Kaido Kustaki Ka. Was in code? Why? Baka, no. I should stay no Joho, he doesn't do to a night show. Take any more shit, Joe. But what if we decode it wrong and end up on the other side of the island or something? Kano say what zero than I get, or die job, you know? Cochrane Gun, the blue nine young go that. Oh, yeah, that was the easiest one, right? So, not a touch, I know they in the Kaka each stayed. I'm seeing Suruga. Oh, does on the far west end of the island, eh? See any anti material life in each of the need I hope. Come on, I put the kid again. Just one round. That sure is a huge rifle. But we only get one shot, seriously? Uh, why do they have to make everything as inconvenient as possible? All we found was a tarp. How much use that's gonna be, though? Maybe we could all sleep under it together? Nah, it's definitely not big enough for that. And besides, I'm the only one who'd really benefit. なるべく緩やかそうなところを選びましょう実際の地形はわからないんだけどそれくらいしか判断基準ないから Yeah, that's true 時間の浪費はできないわはっきり言ってギリギリだと思う<笑>きついね Sorry guys, it's all my fault よい、合流の期限には間に合ったのだ Yeah, but we could have had way more of a head start on this, and now we're running down to the wire. Can't hold you all back any longer. I've got to go all out from now on. Sure thing. It's good that we've met up, but I'm still feeling kind of uneasy here. Huh. There's nothing but leaves and grass wherever we go. And a shit ton of traps, of course. Wasn't the evac point supposed to be within a day's walking distance? It sure doesn't help that the traps are getting ridiculously intricate now, either. Yeah, sorry. Am I walking slowly again? I've got to pick up the pace so they don't have to keep worrying about me. Or am I in the middle, anyway? Hey, class rep. Nani? Why am I in the middle of the squad? I'm really slow, so shouldn't I be at the back? That's true. Not really that bad. I think the whole squad is being forced to pick up my slack. Class rep was asking Makoto all about my symptoms from the snake bite earlier. I'm still just dead weight. Ugh, it's so damn hot. Hmm? Oh. Wow. Now this is some treacherous terrain. This ravine doesn't look natural. It seems man-made. Did they dig this out just for the evaluation? Yeah, great. As if this wasn't already hard enough. Whew! Now the rushing water from the river down below is just so rejuvenating. At least I've got that to be thankful for. And then I look down and see that the water itself is all muddy from yesterday's rain. So what do we do now? Cross it. The lay of the land? Crap. I didn't even think of pay to pay attention to that. 
Ayamine wraps the rope around the tree and starts descending the cliff. Holy crap! What are we gonna find down there? Huh. Well, hopefully it's not alligators. Hopefully. We'll find out in the next episode of Mob Love Unlimited. If you guys enjoyed this episode, then please slime that like button and subscribe down below for more awesome videos. Thank you everybody for watching this episode and you will hear me in the next one. Goodbye!